The Boeing C-17 Globemaster III is a remarkable military cargo aircraft, born from the long history of its predecessors, namely the Douglas C-74 Globemaster and Douglas C-124 Globemaster II. This aircraft was inspired by the YC-5 transport concept developed in the 1970s and was the pinnacle of design innovation and engineering. With its wide wings, large size, and powerful engines, the C-17 went through a long journey from concept to realization. Despite facing various design challenges that resulted in high development costs, perseverance in the manufacturing process paid off. On the 15th of September, 1991, the C-17 successfully made its maiden flight, marking an important milestone in the world of military aviation. Four years later, on the 17th of January, 1995, the aircraft was officially operated by the United States Air Force. Boeing, in partnership with McDonnell Douglas, continued to produce this aircraft for almost two decades. Finally, the final production C-17 was completed at the Long Beach, California plant, with the last unit flying on the 29th of November, 2015. The success of the C-17 Globemaster III reflects the innovation and dedication of the United States in the development of military transport aircraft. The C-17 has impressive dimensions, with an overall length of 174 feet, a height of 55 feet 1 inch, and a wingspan of 169 feet 9 inches. Its wings have an area of approximately 3,800 square feet, providing the lift needed to carry out a variety of demanding missions. The aircraft is capable of taking off with a maximum weight of 585,000 pounds and can cruise at 450 knots at an altitude of 28,000 feet. Its range is also extraordinary, with the ability to travel more than 4,500 nautical miles while carrying a payload of 100,000 pounds. In addition, the C-17 can reach an operational altitude of 45,000 feet, allowing the aircraft to easily meet various challenges. In terms of payload capacity, the aircraft is capable of carrying up to 169,000 pounds under a 2.5G load factor, demonstrating its toughness and reliability in various military missions. The manufacture of the C-17 is a complex and intricate process, starting with the assembly of the wings which is carried out with great precision. These wings are crucial components that provide lift and stability for the aircraft allowing the C-17 to carry out its missions with precision and efficiency. The fuselage or body of the aircraft is designed in several parts that are assembled with high precision. Each component is carefully assembled to blend with the wing structure, creating perfect harmony in the design of this aircraft. The C-17 is powered by four Pratt & Whitney F-117 PW100 turbofan engines, each producing 40,400 pounds of thrust. These engines not only provide the power for the aircraft to take off, but are also equipped with a reverse thrust feature, which is very important for controlled landings and rapid deceleration when landing. The C-17's prowess as a modern military cargo aircraft comes from a perfect blend of innovative design, precision manufacturing, and a robust propulsion system. The aircraft's superiority is further demonstrated in operations in areas where conventional runways are not available. In such situations, the C-17 demonstrates its flexibility by being able to land on an emergency runway created directly from the existing soil. This process involves special techniques, such as the use of water trucks to bind sand particles, so that they are strong enough to support the massive weight of the aircraft. This innovation in runway preparation demonstrates the C-17's adaptability and the crew's ability to face operational challenges. Once the aircraft has successfully touched down, its powerful engines are re-energized in preparation for takeoff. As part of the procedure, the marker balloons used as visual guides during landing are released and stored for reuse on future missions. This approach ensures operational efficiency and optimal utilization of resources by the C-17 crew. When operating in extreme environments like Phoenix Airfield in Antarctica, the C-17 faces a different set of challenges. 
Extremely cold weather conditions and the limitations of conventional methods make adaptability a key part of any operation of this large cargo aircraft. Unlike other cargo aircraft such as the C-130 which often uses the jet-assisted takeoff JATO system to increase thrust when facing difficult conditions, the C-17 Globemaster III is designed with technical advantages that allow its operation without the assistance of such additional systems. Its powerful engines are capable of handling ice runways and extreme conditions independently, proving the superiority of the design and engineering of this aircraft. In military operations, fuel logistics play a crucial role, especially in strategic maneuvers that require a quick response. One of the innovative systems that supports this is the Aerial Bulk Fuel Delivery System ABFDS. This system allows the delivery of large amounts of fuel to strategic locations, including areas near or even behind enemy lines. Although initially more commonly used on the C-130 aircraft, ABFDS can also be integrated with other large cargo aircraft, such as the C-17 Globemaster III. The primary function of the ABFDS is to deliver fuel to flexible tanks at emergency locations, but the system also plays a critical role in hot pit refueling operations, where aircraft can refuel without having to shut down their engines. This is in line with the Agile Combat Employment ACE, concept which aims to create a resilient and flexible air force in a dynamic combat environment. The ABFDS configuration consists of two large 3,000-gallon air tanks, two pump modules, a metering system, and a network of hoses. The system has the extraordinary capability of delivering fuel at a rate of up to 600 gallons per M inut with a single pump, or 1,200 gallons per M inut when both pumps are operating simultaneously. In addition to the ABFDS, the C-17 is also capable of carrying out precision airdrop refueling missions, where fuel is dropped from high altitudes to predetermined locations. This approach demonstrates flexibility and innovation in logistics distribution, ensuring fuel supplies remain available in difficult-to-reach terrain. The C-17's reliability is further demonstrated in a variety of operational scenarios, including the U.S. Air Force's Maritime Craft Aerial Deployment System MCADS. In these missions, the C-17 acts as a lifeline for maritime units, transporting troops, equipment, and boats across vast oceans with precision and efficiency. In addition to excelling in military operations, the C-17 also made history in collaboration with NASA conducting the largest payload release tests. One of its achievements was dropping a giant 85,000-pound test vehicle from its cargo hold. Prior to this achievement, the team had successfully conducted tests at weights of 60,000, 70,000, and 77,000 pounds. This record demonstrates the incredible precision in the operation of the C-17, as well as a step forward in aeronautical research and development. As an extraordinary military transport aircraft, the C-17 Globemaster III is not only a symbol of American engineering excellence, but also a testament to human innovation and adaptability. From its rich production history to its success in extreme environments, the aircraft continues to demonstrate its commitment to mission success. Whether in aerial refueling, maritime unit deployments, or historic cargo trials with NASA, the C-17's capabilities are truly extraordinary and push the boundaries of what was previously thought possible in military aviation.